You love to knit and you've always wanted to try arm knitting. This is the story for you. You might remember a short while ago, I had the pleasure of sitting and knitting with a great friend of mine, Jackie Fink. She's known as an extreme knitter. That is those who knit with chunky wool and massive knitting needles. Well, those things can actually be quite hard to find. So with arm knitting, it's super easy because you can just use chunky wool and your arms. And the best thing about this is I reckon you can knit a scarf in under half an hour. So let's give it a go. So you start by creating a bit of a tail that's about three generous lengths with the two strands together and then form a slip stitch. Just wind it around your wrist and then pull it through and thread it back onto your wrist. Now lay the tail out in front of you, so get rid of that. And then with the threads, wrap them around your thumb, the tail around your forefinger and just hold the two together just very gently there and then you can tuck in under the loop on your thumb. Pull that stitch over and then off your hand altogether. That's your first stitch. And you just repeat it again, round your thumb, round your forefinger, hold the tails together, slip in under your thumb, grab that loop and then off onto your hand. It's a really simple way of casting on. So I've got three stitches there now. In all, I'll need ten. That will make a really good width for a scarf. Once you get going, it's actually quite fast. So around your thumb, Round your forefinger, hold the two together, slip in under the thumb and loop it off. Just give it a gentle tug. You don't want it to be too tight. If it's too tight, you'll never get it off your arm. So keep it fairly loose. It's a great one for the kids too. This is a really good school holiday project. Trust me, if it's a rainy day like today, this is a good one to try. So that's the casting on, it's pretty simple. And honestly, if you wanted to keep going with stitches right up your arm, you could probably make a bed throw. It's up to you, and I guess the longer your arms, <laughs> the wider you can actually make it. Now to do the knitting itself, take the long length, pull one of the loops, the four loop off, and then just drag that loop through, and then feed your arm. And there you go, first stitch onto your other arm. And do the same again, lift up that loop, take the length of thread, pull it through, and you can see it's just like knitting with needles, only this time we're using our arms. Now you probably notice at this stage that I've definitely got my tail out in front of me. So I'm not picking up from there, I'm actually pulling from the balls of wool. So take that stitch, drag that through, and then thread it onto your hand. Okay, so now what you can do is just very gently give it a tug, just like when you've got stitches on your needles, just sort of shape it and straighten it out and then you just repeat the same for the other side. You pick up the loop, hold the other and then pull it through and then transfer it over. So hold the thread, pick up the loop, pull it through and transfer it over. I think what's really cool about this form of knitting, obviously it grows super fast, so that's very satisfying, but look at the actual stitches. They're nice and big and open. It's a really modern look. Now to give you a guide, this length has been achieved just from the two balls of wool. So obviously you could make it longer if you wanted to, but I think I'm gonna finish there, so I need to cast off. That's the knitting term for finishing it and ending it. So the neatest way to do this is to knit a stitch like we've done before and just thread it over the top. Put the loop onto your other arm and then do the same again for the second stitch. Now you have two stitches on your other arm. With the back stitch, lift it over the top of the front stitch and just let it go and just give that yarn a gentle tug. For the very last stitch, what you need to do is knit that one over the top, pop it onto your arm Lift the back one over and you can see you've got one final loop. Just hook it through and pull that extra tail and you can see I've got all of that excess. We actually want that for this scarf because I'm going to make a cowl or an infinity scarf. You could just have it as a long thin scarf if you want to but I actually want to attach the two ends together so it's a loop. So they will come in handy because what I can do is just fold it up and then use those long pieces of yarn to just gently lace through and connect the two ends together. And the last thing to do is just tie it off neatly. Just a good strong double knot will do the trick. 
And when you're cutting it off, don't snip with the scissors too close. You still want to leave some little tails. That way, you can just tuck them back into the stitches. Let's see how we're looking, shall we? These are such great scarves to wear. I do love an infinity scarf. You just loop it around and then give it a slight twist and then loop over again. Oh, so warm. And you have to admit, so satisfying. Half an hour's work and you've got something beautiful and warm to wear. It's a great rainy day project, perfect for this weekend. Why not try it with the kids?